my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So we've just done a video on how you can find image sets on desktop. So now we're going to look at how you can find them in the iOS app. So that's iPhone or iPad. So we're on our canvas, our canvas, we're in a canvas in iOS. And we are going to come down to the bottom of our function bar and we're going to go to images. And we're just going to select an image we like. Oh my gosh, what is an axle toll? I really like an the eye axle toll. I have no idea what it is. It's very cute. It looks a bit like a grindolo, but it's not a grindolo. It's an axle lotl axolotl anyway i like it so i want to see if that image has got other images that go with it so i'm going to click on the three dots in the circle of that image and you'll see it comes up with the image number and the image set and then it says i can copy the image id as well so we're going to open image set and it's going to take us to where that image is from and this is now all the other images that are connected with that one in an image set so the image set is called favorite axolotl collection we can see here we've got some cut images that are single layer and multi-layer we've also got some draw images as well oh my gosh these are so cute i really like these little guys so again if i just go back and I select another image I like. Let's go with the mushrooms. I can again click the three dots and then select view image set. And that will take me to that specific image set. So in this case, it's storybook mushroom sentiments. Equally, I may actually be looking for an image set. And if I just put that in the search bar, so for example, let's do Critter. It won't come up with any images because I'm searching for the image set name rather than the image name. So to find the image set, I'm going to come up to this toggle bar at the top of our image selection here. And you'll see right at the top where we've got filters, we've then got categories underneath it. So we're going to select categories and you'll see we've got a whole list of different categories. And we're going to go to highlighted categories, which is right at the top and then image sets. So we can then open up the image set search. You can see where I've selected that. It's got a green tick next to it. I can then go back and back again and I'll now be in the image set search so now when I search for critter I've got five image sets come up and of course I can then choose those equally I could search under other parameters so for example I could search under flower and I'll have 48 image sets then appear. And I can scroll through those image sets, open them up and see what else is within them. If I want to go back to all images, all I'm going to do is click on that toggle again. I'm going to go to categories and it's currently set to image sets. And then I'm just going to select all. You'll see that all has now got a tick next to it. I can go back and back again and I'm back to the all image search so there's two ways in the iOS app to find your image set you can either select an image and then use the three dots to find the image sets or you can go to your filters categories and select image sets and you can then search directly for the image set as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe or hit that notification bell. And as always, I'll see you all again soon. Bye.